everyone this is Sandra at the Whispering Well so today is a bit of a different video I just thought that I would do a video about working with deity so working with god goddesses etc um, for me it will be um, pagan gods and goddesses um, of the Celtic pantheon for me um, because people don't always know what you mean by working with and I can only give my experience of that and what I do personally other people may do something very different or look at it very differently but everyone has their own ways of doing things and nothing is right or wrong it's whatever feels right for you that's how I've always um, looked at it is whatever is right for you if it feels right for you then it's not wrong um, so this is my first Kanunos um, statue so I work with if you like Kanunos um, some people um you know he he's proper he, we call him Kanunos, he's like the forest lord the um some people um do call him Hearn the hunter, but I kind of for me, I look at Hearn as a separate um entity, a separate being, but not everyone does, and that's totally fine as well. Um, so this was my first ever statue of Kanunos, and this one lives on my um, little tiny kind of windowsill altar area, which is not really an altar, it's like a, a little window sacred space if you like. Um, and he lives there because, as you can see, he's, he's, he's getting old now, he's, the tip of his horn is broken, that was the cat's and there's meant to be a snake's head there that was also the cat's <laughs> so but I can't I don't want to like get rid of him I don't want to part with him because he was my first like statue and when I say him I'm not I don't mean I'm looking at this statue and thinking this is Kanunos or like this is somehow alive or something it's it's not that um, at all. Um, when I'm working with deity, what I see it as is working with the energies of these uh, beings. Um, and I will work with that in ritual, meditation even, and sometimes I will get the images of these not in statue form in actual person form if you like in dreams um so it's like being told something in a dream um and very often i will get it in meditation more and um in ritual if i'm doing a specific ritual i will ask for the help of the god and goddess because I work with both some people only work with the goddess and that's totally fine as well but I've always had the male and female always um, and I will ask for their help as in to bring their energies to my ritual or to my working um, to help me um, and I won't I won't do this as in let's just ask for their help and don't give anything back to them or give anything back to the universe. So um, I, I do have offering bowls where I will um, leave offerings for them which I feel for me is right. Um, I don't always go by because all the gods and goddesses usually have got certain correspondences with them or certain colours um, and I don't always go by those correspondences again I will just um, go with what I think so say for Kanunos I might give him conkers 
acorns, oak leaves, um, maybe other kinds of herbs, certain crystals I might give to Kanunos, like, um, but they'll be kind of more earthy colours like browns and green crystals. I have given him um, carnelium, which is a nice kind of fiery crystal and can, and can remind you of like autumn leaves because remembering that Kanunos is like the forest lord, but he's lord of the forest, he's lord of animals too. And in this depiction, we see that he has more of a half animal, half man face, and he has the cloven hooves. This does not mean he's the devil. This is where some people get confused, but he's not, it's totally different. I do have another Kanunos Canuna statue, which is on my altar area, which is much bigger and different style. He's seated, he looks different to this, and he's got animals around him but it's a really large one, so I didn't um, bring that here today. So I've got this like wooden tray here so that they don't um, fall down. So um, so I will do that with them. It's like, it's, it's hard to describe, but I'm trying to do my best here. And this, I don't know whether this is gonna make sense to you guys or not, but when I do ritual, I really, put myself into that I put everything into that I put um, my energies my um, intention wholly into it if I'm doing because I do heal in my own way I'm not Reiki, Reiki trained or anything so I will do healing at my altar and I will do whatever I feel to be right and when I've done healing for people, they have said that it's made a difference, that they feel that it's worked, which is great. Um, and I will put a lot into that, that healing and I will use my hands. And very often I will um, focus on my hands when I'm doing healing um, and envision um, light going to that person as well as doing other things I'm not going to say everything I do in that in that ritual because it, it's like more of a private thing but I don't mind sharing this little bit um, I will envision light going to that person like white light going to the areas that they need it sometimes it comes out as a blue light um, I'll see it as blue and I'll just go with that because that is obviously what is needed but um, asking for help from deity, it's like, for me, like I can feel their energy come into me like a, like a boost to help me. Um, and with Kanunos, his energy for me is quite forceful, but it's gentle as well. Um, so his energy will come with a bit more of a sort of, not like slamming into you in that way of knocking you back, but it's quite right, it's there, it's there, you, you really, you know about it, or that's how I feel that I will know about it with Kanunos. And the thing is, he's been with me, it, or it, and when I say he's been with me, I mean his energies, and in my mind's eye, I see him. So I kind of see him psychically because I used to um, used to um, do like a psychic um, development circle. I used to be a part of, and I know that things will come to me in my mind's eye. So kind of where your third eye is. Um, so I will get that with him but the thing is and I didn't even realize it when I was younger he's been with me all the time he's been with me I would say probably from when I was about 11 12 that kind of age but I didn't realize it at the time but I do now and I know that so he's 
been with me a long time it's always been there so I've never had to think oh what god am I going to to have you know how some people will maybe look into the different gods and goddesses and think what they might like to work with or sometimes people will feel that a particular god or goddess has come to them well with me um it's it's Kanunos. so we'll just kind of put him there um now goddess wise um so this is um a philippa bowers um statue and i got this last year or possibly the year before um in glastonbury um it's handmade by philippa bowers and she has a shop there um but this is my depiction for um Ariane rod um she's a celtic goddess and not not many people i don't hear of many people that have her as a goddess but again she's been with me for or i feel that her energies have been with me for what about 12 years something like that and she's a celtic moon goddess so that's why i thought this statue was perfect because we've got the moon here and colours that I associate with Ariane Rod are blue, this type of blue, purple and white, with Kanunos um, green and brown, I associate with him. Um, so in the autumn I kind of associate like maybe like an orange or red as well. Um, and she came to me or I felt her energies and it's really weird my dad um, had a cardiac arrest some years ago now because obviously he passed five years ago from cancer but prior to that he had a cardiac arrest and we didn't know if he was going to make it from that it was like real emergency he had to be speed driven by ambulance to London to a hospital in London the Royal Brompton it's called a specialist heart hospital um, and he was in a coma induced by them for some time and on machines and everything and we didn't know if he was going to make it or not and if he did whether he'd have brain damage luckily he did make it he didn't have brain damage but you know at the time we were backwards and forwards to London and I was just literally I was sitting in my brother's car my brother that lives in Devon and he'd got um down the bard um cd on and i i love his work he's like a folk um singer songwriter he's also a druid um and one of the songs was lady of the silver wheel which is about ariane rod um which at the time i didn't realize but after looking it up i found out that it was and that resonated with me so much. And it was like I could see her. We were driving along in the dark. And it's like I could see her come to me. I mean, not literally see her out of the window of the car or anything. But see her in my third eye or, or psychically, if you like. Um, and she's the weaver of fate. And it was like she was saying, I'm the weaver of fate. And I'm saying this is not his time. This is not his time. And, you know, because of that, I didn't worry so much um, about whether my dad was going to pull through. Because it was just like this gentle energy that came over me like look it's going to be okay I'm the weaver of fate and I know that this is not his time now and he will recover and he did and that was the first time that I ever came across her because for a long time I, I didn't work with any goddess 
because I didn't feel there was any that were right for me, so I didn't work with any. Not until Ari Amrod came, and it's why, you know, I've got a couple of decks now with Ari Amrod in, and I'm always so happy when I see her depicted in a deck because she's not, um, I don't want to say popular goddess, but she's not one that a lot of people work with that you hear about very often. But she's really important to me, and I will never. I don't. I can't see me ever not working with her, not having her there. Um, even if at times she steps back a little bit, and another goddess might come forward, or the energy of another goddess might come forward, she's still there, always. So that's Amriel Rod, and then another goddess which I've got here now this is a depiction of Ellen of the Ways and she's quite a recent um, goddess for me um, she came to me the last time I went to Glastonbury actually and I said when I go when I go to Glastonbury because I'd felt her energy that I was going to get a statue for her a depiction that I could have on my altar of her and as we were driving um, not that far actually from here this deer just leapt out in front of the car just ran straight across didn't hit it or anything like that just ran straight across and as it ran it looked straight at me it was a male because it had um, antlers but I just felt like that was it was so strange how it happened and it I just felt like it was her saying don't forget my statue or don't forget about me now you're going to Glastonbury but don't forget you know I am here you know here's my sign um you know and they say about Ellen of the ways about walking in the deer trods which is walking her path so and you know, even now just talking about it, I can feel like goosebumps. So I know she's there as well, um, but that doesn't mean that Ariane Rod is pushed to the back because she's not. To me, they are equal. Ellen of the Ways is, is newer or equal. I don't know. Maybe not equal because Ariane Rod has been with me much, much longer and I have a much closer connection much stronger closer connection with Ari Amrod than I do with the energy of Ellen of the Ways I do have it there it's definitely there but she's a little bit harder to work with to so when I say work with again I mean to actually feel like her energy has come through and she only kind of comes through at certain times or certain ways so it almost feels like her energy is not there all the time i think it is but it's kind of in the background but i still wanted to have a representation of her because actually um my sort of um spirit animal if you like is the red kite always has been ever since i did a meditation and it came to me a uh, uh, animal spirit guide meditation but the other animal spirit guide or animal spirit guide, animal spirit i mean people used to say totem animal but i think it's not the correct way to say things now but or animal spirits that you feel are connected to you so the other one is deer um and also hair so i've got like the three really deer hair but the red kite is is top of that that list but yeah so she um but she had when i feel like i'm doing ritual or i'm doing healing and i'm working can feel these energies during ritual or during meditation hers is very gentle it's very gentle and you think is 
is that there it's almost imperceptible but it is there Ariane rods is more it you know it's definitely there but it's still quite gentle but there is a bit more force to it definitely than there is with um, Ellen of the Ways that's that's what I would say and some people even say that Ariane Rod is a dark goddess for me she's not but again you know everyone works in different ways with different energies and that's how I see working with deities guys just to try and because I've heard people you know say what do you mean you work with the deities and you know I suppose to people that don't know it could sound like you're working with this statue literally like this statue has got some kind of life force in it and of course it doesn't it's a representation when we're not looking or I'm not looking at this statue or this statue and thinking this is Kanunos this is Ellen of the Waits this is no it's a representation something that we can focus on in ritual to draw out that energy of that particular deity that we're working with so that was a little bit guys about working with deities I hope this made sense um, I'm not great always with trying to get across what I mean um, so I'm hoping that it makes sense and um, if you have deities that you work with um, you know I'd be interested to know how you work with them and what it feels like for you and which deities you work with because it's always really interesting to me so let me know in the comments below um, if if you do work with deities and how how you work with them or how you how you see it when you're um, working with them so yeah so I have got some walkthroughs quite a few coming up um, I have received a really kind gift in the post yesterday which I will be doing a walkthrough of too because it is a deck and I've got other decks to do walkthroughs of so I need to like catch up <laughs> next week really but um, yeah so there will be some walkthroughs coming up and I will see you all then. I hope everyone is doing really well and yeah, bye for now. Bye.